cardiac arrhythmias or irregular heartbeats, they impact about 5 million people in the U.S., millions and millions more globally, and they actually you know, contribute to what is the number one natural cause of death in the United States. The people that are overrepresented in that group of people that, that suffer from this are those that have severe heart failure, those that have something like an ICD. And the problem there is that the ICD usually works, but it's, it's brutal. It is an unannounced, painful shock to the chest. I spoke with someone last week and he was telling me that he has an ICD and the last time it went off, he woke up on the floor, on his kitchen floor because that's just how great the pain was. I mean, numerically, it's around 30 times higher than uh, of an energy delivery than what is typically considered a human pain threshold. The numbers are, are shockingly high. It's, it's something around 38% that get anxiety. 41% of ICD users end up with depression and almost half, 49%, end up with PTSD after just four years of implantation. And this is a lifelong device so that never really goes away and it can only get worse from there. That's why we want to take a preventative approach. That's why it's so important for us to get this to market. It's so that these patients don't have to make that kind of choice. It's so that they have a better option. And it's so that, you know, maybe they have an ICD, but it, they never have to experience it going off in their lifetime. Uh, and that would be the best case scenario for us.